A brazen move. Eldorado County Sheriff's deputies say a man stole a patrol car that was left running right from one of their substation's parking lots. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in South Lake Tahoe to tell us how deputies were able to catch this guy, Ryan, and if the car should have been left running. Yeah, this was all of the result of a brazen move by after deputies say this man stole this SUV from a substation parking lot, kind of just like this one. Four vehicles slowing down to 48 miles an hour, yielding to the side, just before Camino. Police scanner audio helps paint the scene of the start of a police chase by El Dorado County Sheriff's deputies. The SUV they were chasing, one of their own from the South Lake Tahoe substation. This morning, right around shift change, um, Deputy had left his vehicle uh, geared up there in the parking lot outside the uh, Tahoe substation. El Dorado County Sheriff's deputies alerted Highway Patrol, Placerville PD, and other deputies in the area of Highway 50. And the chase was on. PPD attempt to spike in the city. Before spike strips brought it to a stop in Placerville. Confirm that you have suspects. Negative. It's continued westbound. He was spiked, though. And right to Jacob Wolf. Adam, the final stop's going to be Highway 50 at Spring Street. Uh, suspect is 1015. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office tells CBS 13 the patrol car was left running outside when it was stolen. So we wanted to know. Is it against protocol to leave patrol cars running? The sheriff's office says it isn't because equipment in the cars must be powered up at all times. Because we have computers, we have cameras, we have all these things that need to stay on and running in order to do our jobs. In fact, the sheriff's office says its newer patrol cars have features to prevent something like this from happening. They're made with a shutoff switch. That way we can leave the vehicle running and take the keys out. And if it if it goes to be put into drive, it'll automatically shut down. Our older vehicles, which we have a few still left up there, they're not equipped with this. As you can hear, this is another car that is left running right in front of the South Lake Tahoe substation. And you're probably wondering how they were able to find this car so quickly. That's because of another piece of technology. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office says that they have GPS tracking devices in their patrol cars to make sure that they can know where they are in real time. Ryan, thanks live in El Dorado County tonight. An Auburn-based company, by the way, has developed technology to prevent patrol car thefts like the one we just heard about. Intermotive has several different security system departments uh, they can install and serving as a digital backup for officers in the field. We've done stories on this. Intermotive says its devices are not currently installed, by the way, in the El Dorado County Sheriff's fleet.